actually, you know what? I mean, I thought when I first saw the segment, I was like, oh, that's going to be awkward. But <laughs> actually, this, this could be, for many, a life-changing segment. And I'm not kidding. Kim Duke, lovely to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, you are the author of Ugly Baby, How to Get Over Fear and Give Birth to Your Odd Idea, Start a Business, or Invent Something Cool. We all have dreams. I want to ask we you do. about the title right away. Ugly Baby, what does it mean? Ugly Baby. Ugly Baby is all about fear. Right. Uh, I speak all over the world teaching women how to sell. And something that I saw everywhere, whether it was in the United States or England or in Barbados, is that they were, had a great idea, mm -hmm. very creative, or they want to start a new business or a project, but they were afraid, afraid to <laughs> show people because they're worried about being judged, that someone's going to say, oh, that's going to fail, or you're not going to make any money, or that's a really bad idea. And so then they didn't do it. And so I decided, hmm, to heck with that. I'm going to write a book and really give people a stiletto in the butt. A stiletto oh. in the butt. <laughs> uh, there, there you have it. Uh, one thing I don't know if our viewers can see, uh, the, the, the elephant is standing on a chair because there's a little mouse. You talk about that yeah. fear. Mm -hmm. Because it can be something quite small. And once you actually start doing it, it can actually be something that is more and more empowering. And that's what I think. Yes. Once you get over that fear, that's what you also focus on is yes. empowering yourself. It really is stepping into it and, and really understanding that you don't have to have to launch in 100%. You can actually start your idea and research it and, and start on a smaller scale first. Test it. Use things like surveymonkey.com. You can get feedback from people. There's lots of things that you can do. The, but the worst thing that you can do, the biggest fear I, that I have for people is that they don't do it at all. Right. And then, then down the road you're like, oh, I should have done that or I should have bought that flower shop or whatever it may be. So this is definitely designed for women in business all the way. Right now you've probably got half of Edmonton who are listening right now and going, okay, all right, that's my, I have this dream I have this dream yes. let's talk about the first steps then because sure. it, sometimes I think just that first step um, you know beyond the fear is just, yes. it just seems too insurmountable where do I begin where they begin is with the research so that is always the first thing is this an idea that somebody else wants especially of course in business is it is it going to be a business you're launching right. or you're launching a new product line you have to test things first mm. on a smaller scale and that's why there's that expression called go big or go home <laughs> yeah. I'm like <laughs> you don't need to be like that. Right. You can do small. You can start something small. You can have a focus group. You can, but you must do the research first. That's one of the biggest areas where people screw up, where huh. they skip that part. And they're like, woohoo, I love my idea, and so I'm just going to launch it. And they forget that part. Right. And so that's, where, that's really where you need to start first, is just test the market. See if what's the interest. What are, what's the response from people? I love that. that, that you, you are right. There is this pressure, I think, that mm -hmm. when you do something like that, that there is this, you have to be huge, go big. But you can kind of just jump. You don't. I, also, I, wanna, I want you to release our viewers, then, too, of this fear of failure. Because I don't think right. that really exists. Do you? The fear of failure? No, that no, I think it does, but I don't think that the, the failure is such a thing in such a situation. Well, not really. Yeah. I think once you understand that, by the way, fear never goes away. Right. I, I, I don't care what level that you're at. The, Fear is always like kind of hanging on your shoulder, you know, smoking a cigarette, saying, I'm going to get you. And, and it's not about that. It's really, it's about deciding that you're, you're just going to do it in spite of fear. Right. Really, there's a great book called do it, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And that's really what I'm all about. So just get out there and do it. And you'll discover that you'll have the courage and, and the insight and new ideas will come to you. It's almost like a domino effect. This book is great. There are interviews uh, with real live people. Real live people. Lives being changed. Uh, I had no <laughs> idea that fear was a smoker. It makes sense, though. Although, you know, you say it never ends. But you know, if he's a smoker, you're not supposed to be smoking. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but uh, this book is wonderful <laughs> because you have you have dialogue with women I do. whose lives are changed. You mentor, you public speak, so you yes, know. Yes, I know. Um, and this book is only available on Amazon. That's right. And uh, which is great. Mm -hmm. You live in Sherwood Park. You're a local woman that is changing the world, empowering the world. Thank you. And, uh, and not just that. Check out this. I mean, this is um, speaking of powerful women that she keeps company with. Check this photo out. Um, <laughs> this is probably one of the most powerful women you've ever met. Uh, would you agree? Um, you and Michelle McDougall, some 20 years oh. ago, you talk about you two in Lethbridge. <laughs> yeah. You should be beaten for putting that on TV. You had big <laughs> ideas then and big hair. And big hair. <laughs> and don't you love those pants? Check out the pants. You know what? <laughs> I love it. It's throwback Friday, apparently. Uh, it is awesome her. to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for doing what you're doing. And uh, check out the book, Ugly Baby. Uh, you can connect with her as well through breakfasttelevision.ca. She could change your life. This could be a morning where you wake up and it's going to be a Friday that actually, it's the last Friday like all the others. You're looking to a new future. We'll be back. 627, we got news about the traffic coming up right after this. Whatever you do, I will be right here waiting for you.